and in politics, the Secretary General and other high-ranking UN administrators are on Luna for a security summit. We await the official briefing later tonight. Deputy Undersecretary Christian Avasarala has been sequestered to an undisclosed Earth location for emergency government operations. Archangel is arriving. Stand by for resume post. Ma'am, if you need anything at all, you can use it. So this is the Secretary General's hideaway. Not bad for a coffin. Nishan, where the fuck are you? Good morning, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. How was your trip in? You mean my descent? I'm being guarded like a fucking war prisoner. What do you think? Was it another assassination plot? Could be any damn thing. With everyone on Luna for the summit, I am suddenly the highest ranked official on the planet. Congratulations. Bullshit. I was the only one expendable enough to remain on Earth. Where is your voice coming from, anyway? I don't see a comms link. <clears throat> what in the flying fuck? Uh, apologies for the dramatic reveal. I know how you dislike me pinging your terminal all day. This seemed to be a workable solution. Uh, I also took the liberty of having security bring down some of your personal items. Jesus. How long do you think I'll be down here? Okay, messages. An Admiral Krusko has sent an urgent message about a situation near Juno. And Undersecretary Mendez is still hounding you about the reorganization plan. That's all? No, there's also a message from Callisto. Are you sure? Yes, it reached your receiver about 45 minutes ago. I forwarded it to your hand terminal. Okay, go back to your dock. Let me get to work. I leave this here until I know what it opens. I leave this here until I know what it opens. It's been a long time since Jarnabo called. Hi, Mom. It's me. They lifted the comms embargo and I wanted to say hey. 
Haven't heard from you in a few days, and, well, I'm worried. You took the news about Marie badly. She's not what you think she is. She's not a terrorist. She's fighting for justice for ordinary people who were caught in the crossfire. I know you say I distract myself from what's important, but, well, this is important. She is. To me. Anyway, I love you, and I miss you. Keep me in your prayers. Talk soon. Stupid boy. This is no time for romance. Sweet child, the United Nations did not send you all the way across the solar system to get laid. We love to hear from you, but I expect updates on your health and safety, not on your damn love life. Listen to me, because I won't say it again. Go to the nearest medical clinic and get tested. The full STD panel. Those outer planet whores are the worst in the system. If discretion is required, forward the bill to me and let this be the last we speak of it. Now, go. I'm sure there is something more important you should be doing. And be safe, my sweet boy. Make us proud. Some fucking admiral and that Torb Mendes. That's the agenda. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, we've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. However, I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt, regardless of urgency or severity. Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Civilian administrator, my ass. Brass prick. This Krusko seems damn sure of himself. That makes me even less confident of his assessment. I better look into it myself before responding. Christian, I hear you're working out of the bunker today. Is it as ostentatious as everyone says? Only thing missing is a chandelier. I hear you were looking for me. Ah, yes. Listen, your role as Undersecretary of Peace Operations is invaluable, of course. And yet? And yet, the Belter threat calls for greater scrutiny. It should be the work of a committee, one that I'm shocked has informed earlier. Anyway, the Security Council is planning a vote on the issue. What issue? The issue of whether to strip me off my powers and throw the belt into chaos? I know big changes can be challenging, especially when you've been in the UN for so long. But this is a move to protect our people. Of course. But I can't help but wonder who will be in charge of this new committee. Well... That's for the Security Council to decide. My name has been put forward, but... Listen, maintaining peace in the belt is more than one person can accomplish. Everyone is finally acknowledging all the work you do. By taking my job? Oh, don't think of it that way. If you excuse me, I've got another call. Always a pleasure.
Once I've finished my work, this will serve nicely for a wind down. So this is where our discretionary funds have gone. To feather an underground nest. I never thought I'd miss the real nation, but this little gadget creeps me out. I'm going to need everything you have on Mendez. Frankly, he's a pretty open book. Son of diplomats, top of his class at the UNS, spotless record. He may be young and shiny, but I have seen his kind before. Small dicks, big ambitions. Massive ambitions, if he's facing off against you. I have something special for you to work on. Of course. What do you need? My son is in contact with a girl on Ganymede. Marie Esperon. Is she a UN official? A Martian diplomat? She's a Belter activist. Oh. I know the basics. Enough for me to wholeheartedly disapprove of her. But this girl could be using my son for his UN and access. Or trying to recruit him. I see, Madam Undersecretary. I'll make the appropriate inquiries. Tell me about that shit-eating Admiral. I have his file here, but something is off. Gaps in command, sealed records. So, Cusco has powerful friends who like to cover up his mistakes. <laughs> no wonder he's not afraid of me. Let me do some digging. It might be nothing, but it couldn't hurt. The Bubblehead himself. They really captured the insecure look in his eyes. You can almost believe that you're not hundreds of meters underground. Almost. I may not be certain of a higher power, but sometimes it's nice to share all this shit with somebody else.
If only everything was as straightforward as chess. In politics, the rules are always changing. Good morning, my love. You look absolutely ravishing. It's true I cannot see you, but I've learned that it's safer to assume. If I was with you, I wouldn't be able to stop from sweeping you into my arms and carrying you away. But alas, I'm not. And we'll have to settle for your bishop. Your move, darling. My dear Arzum. Have you learned nothing? I'm always playing a different game than you expect. Ask your king what I mean. I would much rather play a very different game. Sadly, I have been locked in a bunker by some idiot bureaucrats. But when I return home, you should block out your schedule. Dear God, what a waste of water. I should pull up the reports on Juno and Ramses too. Cloaking their military overreach in promises of protection. A classic Martian trick. Why not? If someone offers you a favor, it's best to take advantage. Ten percent. Why not just ask for a pony in every household? Useless posturing. If only meteors would silence some of the blowhards in the UN. We keep pushing farther and farther out. God knows why. I hope these fools realize that black markets are to be managed, not eliminated. In a perfect world, everybody gets what they need, but the belt is far from perfect.
What a mess. I pray Sharnapu isn't the one who has to clean it up. The belt, a.k.a. my never-ending headache. One can only imagine what we could have done with all that wasted Mormon money. A known OPA terrorist meeting with Martian agents. This could be interesting. Based on the velocity, the Ramses doesn't appear to be any immediate threat to Juno. All the more reason to keep assessing and avoid making a mistake, right? Martians are brash, but a move like this requires serious balls. I don't like it. Why would they enter a heavily guarded demilitarized zone with a single warship? It doesn't add up. Interesting. There have been no transmissions between the Martians on Juno and the Ramses too. So it's either a rogue ship or meant to look like one. My father is a statue. Nishan thought of everything. Under Secretary Avasarala, with Fleet Admiral Hold indisposed on Luna, 
We've been instructed to defer to you for matters of lawful jurisdiction. At 1800 hours, the MCRN battleship Ramses II entered Juno Moon Space. We have hailed the Ramses II three times, and we are now within our rights to seize the vessel. However, I've been ordered to seek your go-ahead on all matters in the belt, regardless of urgency or severity. Seeing as you are a civilian administrator, I urge you to trust your military officers to make the right decisions. I eagerly await your response, but I must warn you, if we do not receive orders soon, we will be forced to engage. Admiral Krusko, out. Admiral Krusko. The Jupiter fleet is under your command, and I have no intention of disputing your authority. However, I have reviewed the logs for the Ramses too, and I see no direct threat to Juno Station or the Jupiter fleet. Whatever the Martians are doing with that ship, it remains a mystery. One I intend to solve. I believe I've earned my drink now. If I am I ready to unwind? Director of Operations. Stand by. The time window for restoration of services has been extended indefinitely. Thank you. Does the Director of Operations happen to report to Undersecretary Mendez? Yes, D.O. Tanaka is a direct report. This is no accident. Mendez is trying to block me out of the vault. Forgive me, Madam Deputy, but isn't that a little paranoid? His attempt to reorganize the Security Council would leave me powerless. He will stop at nothing to make it happen. Whatever is causing it, we won't get much done without power. You underestimate me, Nissan. My electrical engineering degree wasn't just for show. Word of this gets out, I'll have your testicles as paperweights. Understood, Madam Deputy Undersecretary. Mm -hmm. I learned a few things besides networking at Kano Polytech. Let's hope I remember them.
Well done, Madam Undersecretary. What can I say? I live to impress you, Nishan. <laughs> we have power again, but it's limited. Any news from the outside world? The Security Council vote will proceed as planned, but you are scheduled to address the delegates first. The Ramses II is still off course near Juno, and the intervention window is closing. You've received another message from Admiral Cruzco, and you should be able to contact him again. That won't mean shit if I can't make him listen. Did you find any dirt on him? I'm afraid not. Of course, if the Secretary General weren't indisposed, he might share whatever unsealed files he might have. He's safe. I like this dark side of you, Nishan. I learned from the best, Madam Undersecretary. My darling, while I would gladly carve up my schedule for you, it sounds like you might not be home anytime soon. I'm not surprised that foolish men think that they can control you, and I pity them greatly. I just heard from Shanapal. All things considered, he's faring well. I credit your fighting spirit, which I trust won't be too wounded by the loss of this bond. Hmm? Faring well? Have you heard what your son is doing on Callisto? Foolish little shit. Falling in love with some belter. I blame you for this ridiculous sentimentality. <laughs> All the time we spent raising him. And what does he do? Falls in love on a rock in the middle of space. Talk to him, Arjun. If you can change his mind, no one can. What's the point of sitting in for the Secretary General if I don't get to break into his safe? Go back to your base and face the wall. It's called plausible deniability, for fuck's sake. Deniability of what? Good drone.
It's almost optimistic to think we could fuck up this planet more than we already have. If we were wasting our time planning for alien contact, at least we are being honest about it. Another few hours down here, and I'm going to claw those sanctimonious eyes out. Hi, Mom. It's me again. Two messages in one day. Must be a new record, right? So, we're gearing up for a mission. I don't know where yet. I never do, but I wanted to reach out. What you said about Marie, that was pretty low. Even for you. She's important to me, Mom. You both are. That's why I want to be honest about my feelings. Just don't push me away, okay? Call me back when you get a chance. I'd love to hear from you before we deploy. Sweet boy, you must stay safe and return to us soon. You have an important job to do, and I trust you to do it well. However, this is no time for sentimentality. All soldiers feel strongly on the eve of battle, which is why it's the worst fucking time to make decisions. Push this Marie out of your head and focus on what matters. You know what to do. I love you desperately. And I pray I will see your face again soon. Semper Fi, my sweet boy. Christian, I was just about to call you. The Council has set the date for the reorganization vote. It's today, in full assembly. And I don't suppose you'd consider a postponement for the Council member who's working from a hole in the ground. Oh, believe me, I asked, begged even. 
But there's too much momentum. You're looking at this all wrong. Vote against this motion with me. And we can secure the belt without all the red tape of a committee. While I'd never bet against your persuasive talents, I have a meeting to run to. I'll just have to go with my gut on this vote. Jeffrey, I like you. You're ambitious. And you have balls. That's why I am telling you to cancel the vote. You don't want to go up against me. Christian, you are an inspiration. I've looked up to you for, well, my whole career. But this motion is moving forward. And last I counted, you were three votes short. Cocksucker. I've populated your screen with five delegates whose votes may be winnable. You should call them and see where they stand. Very good. Under Secretary, this is Admiral Cruzco. I'm afraid the situation near Juno has reached its inflection point. The Martians are now openly flouting system law, and this act cannot go unanswered. I understand your desire for caution in your temporary position. But that is no excuse for indecision. No orders have been issued, but I cannot guarantee the obedience of my captains. They understand that lives are at stake, and they are only human. I implore you to transmit orders as soon as possible. Krusko, signing off. This asshole won't respect me unless I make him. Admiral Krusko, here are your orders. You will remain in place. You will not intercept the MCR in Ramses II. Understand, this is not a request, and I owe you no explanation. I've also been reviewing your sealed personal file. It reads like a fucking tabloid. Sex, nepotism, cover-ups. It would only take one word from me to have it unsealed, and all over the news tonight. I will await your confirmation of these orders. This is Deputy Governor Dunning. Natalie is Christian. I should have known. How are you, my friend? And what about your husband and those delightful children? Chris, if I thought you gave a shit about my family, we'd both be in a different line of work. Now what do you need? It's the Security Council vote. Can I count on you to reject the reorganization under Mendes? I like you, Chris. But not enough for charity. Meaning? Shepherd Complex has a faulty filtration system, and it needs updating. But the funds are never there. See that Shepherd gets its new water tower, and I'll support you. I'll see what I can do. You're Christian Abasarala. I expect a lot more than that. Well, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the honor? This is about the vote to reorganize the Security Council. Ah, I see. Well, Jeffrey Mendez is a spiteful worm, and any motion he champions is certainly one I will vote against. So, I have your support? If you make me one promise. I will do whatever it takes. I give you my word. Ah, be careful, Madam Undersecretary. That's a dangerous thing to say in our line of work. For some, but not for me. As of now, I will vote with you against the reorganization. However, whatever happens in negotiations, you cannot raise taxes. If you plan a tax hike of any kind, you will be calling Mendez Sir before the week is out. Do you understand? Are you threatening me, Finance Director Singh? No, I am informing you of the potential consequences if you fail to heed my warning. 
The system will break, Christian. I understand the situation, and I will make this work. I appreciate the call, Madam Undersecretary. Good luck. Officer Alla. Okoro, I've heard that you're undecided on the security reorganization. Only because I knew you'd show up here eventually. I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but your support in this vote is crucial. How crucial? Enough for me to be here kissing your ass, when I should be in New York getting a manicure. So I can give you the vote, but I'll need something in return. Don't keep me in suspense. We're getting a lot of flack from the wealthier tiers of the Earth admin zones. Too many private regulations over spaceport licensing. You're joking. They want the UN Accountability Office to deregulate private spaceports. And they're fine with higher taxes, if that's what gets it done. Very well. I will get back to you. I'm sure you will. But only when your back's against the wall. Does she think I do this to make friends? For real? Christian Avasarala. It's been a long time. Elena, it's been a few years. Years? Come on. You remember the last time we saw each other. Of course. That was a wonderful day we had together. At the ambassador's funeral? Fuck. It had its moments, I guess, but wonderful. You've always been a funny one, Christian. Listen, I need a favor. Let me guess. Menda's security plan? How did you know? Singh warned me you'd be calling. But I understand why you're concerned. Any idiot can see what Mendez is trying to pull. Can I count on you? You may. But only if the proposed water tower in Shepherd Complex never moves forward. Oh, you're not a supporter of the project? I'm not a supporter of handing Dunning another fucking victory to pad her resume for committee assignments. I see. I knew you would. Gotta run. Good luck today, Christian. What can I do for you, Madam Undersecretary? I'm coming to you for help with the Security Council's reorganization proposal. Oh. That? I'm afraid the belt's security status doesn't affect the People's Party's platform. Not directly, anyway. Then I would like to ask for your vote. And incur the wrath of Jeffrey Mendez? I don't know how I feel about that. Mendez is not the one you should be afraid of, Mr. Weiss. I'm not sure I appreciate that implication, Madam Undersecretary. It's simply a reminder that the People's Party has friends in the UN. And you wouldn't want to jeopardize that friendship. Listen, I want to help. But I have my own issue that I could use your support with. Naturally. The private spaceports of the wealthy are draining resources and crowding public lands. Now some delegates are attempting to remove the limited regulatory oversight we have. Spaceport regulations. That's your issue? That, and raising taxes, of course. The people have spoken. Very well. Thank you for your time, Mr. Weiss. Anytime. We appreciate your support. I've captured the findings from your conversations with the delegates. You can review and prepare your policy decisions when ready. Very good. I'll meet you at your station. I'm ready to work out my policy positions. Let's figure out which policies I support to get the vote locked in. I have the summary for you to review.
Seeing is a single issue voter and no new taxes. Got it. Let's give Earth rich idiots even less oversight. Yes, and deregulation. Understood. I need Masterson's vote, and she's not wrong about the water tower. It will have to wait. Sounds good. Check these tallies. Uh, congratulations, Madam Deputy. This should secure you the votes. I'll send along your policy commitments to the five delegates. <sighs> Thank fuck. Of course, none of that will matter if I'm not there to cast a deciding vote. I've requested a postponement to the session. In lieu of that, you can always connect it remotely, now that the power's restored. I'm not banking on it. Keep pressing them. Am I ready for a break? Or is there more to do? Madam Undersecretary, Full power has been restored to the compound. That's the good news. But the Security Council still hasn't responded to our request to postpone the vote. No matter. So long as the trains are running, I will be there to see the look on Mendes face when I end this farce. <laughs> Very good. I'll prepare for your imminent arrival. When you're ready. Security breach. Security what breach. now? Security breach. Lock down protocol, Archangel. Move, move, move. Who the fuck this is? Who the fuck else locked me in this prison? It was for your own safety. There's been a security breach in the compound, ma'am. Stop calling me that, you hick. I am deputy undersecretary in the United Nations, not your country grandmother. Yes, deputy undersecretary. I'm sorry. We're conducting our sweep now, and we will have the site secure as soon as possible. I can't wait for soon. The vote is happening now. That's the whole point of all this. Sharp, this is your last chance. Obey my orders and let me out of here now, or deal with the consequences. I'm so sorry, ma'am. The consequences are immaterial. I have my orders and must see them through. Yes, yes, motherfucking soldier you are. Dismissed, Private. You'll never know when you'll need to light some incense or the occasional contraband cigarette. This might come in handy. At 
least my prison can smell nice. Nishan even thought to personalize the Seifu. Sometimes that boy scares me. will kill me with his smugness. I guess it wouldn't be a safe room without a smoke alarm. Where there's smoke, there's fire alarm. Come on. Fuck me. It's real? is your plan then? Uh, I, I don't know. I'm so sorry. Don't apologize. Just blow. Blow! Enjoy the R and R, Private. You've earned it. Ma'am, let me out. Nishan, linking you into the session now. If that's all the arguments, we will convene the vote. All those in favor. Excuse me, counselors. I have the deputy undersecretary, madam. Whenever you're ready. Counselors, I apologize for my tardiness. I have been enjoying the Secretary General's underground hospitality today. We all want to increase security in the belt, but this vote will not accomplish it. The measure is a political maneuver. Undersecretary Mendes has no experience in the belt, and putting him in charge is a dangerous overreach. Counselors, my son is stationed on Callisto. No one wants to de-escalate tensions in the belt more than me. But this motion will only lead to more chaos. Thank you, Madam Avasarala. We'll convene the vote then. All those in favor? All opposed? motion has failed 67 to 66. 
Security in the belt will remain under the jurisdiction of the Deputy Undersecretary. Thank you, everyone. Meeting adjourned. One last thing, Secretary. I would like to put on the record my personal commendation of one private sharp. remaining steadfast to his post in the face of tremendous obstinacy by yours truly. He is an exemplary soldier and I see a bright future for him after today. Your commendation has been added to the record. Meeting adjourned. The security protocols are lifted. Ma'am, I don't know what to say. Thank God. Now, get the hell out of my office. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Your office? I rather like the sound of that. My dear. Don't worry about Shanaba. He has found a woman who sees what a wonderful man he is. The rest will sort itself out. But it's not just our headstrong son. I can hear it in your voice. The weight of the world is on your shoulders. What else is troubling you? Atlas had it easy. He only had one planet to worry about. Nothing is troubling me. I just fended off an attack from a power-hungry underling that would have destabilized everything I have worked to build. <sighs> just another day at the office. I tell you the rest over dinner. up, but that would eliminate any chance of the Secretary General sleeping on it and landing on his face. If Nishan's smart, he'll be able to have my job before long. If he's smarter, he'll turn it down. message from Sharnapal yet. Hopefully a good sign. Jeffrey, what an exciting vote that was. Indeed. How wonderful that you were able to make it after all. I've been meaning to tell you. An ambassador position has just opened up on one of Neptune's moons. It occurs to me that someone with your ambition would be a perfect candidate. You wouldn't actually create a brand new ambassador position just to send me to the ass end of the solar system? You sabotaged UN security to keep me from attending a boat. I could arrest you for treason, or I could put your ingenuity to good use. Enjoy the trip. I hear Titan is lovely this time of year. Now, wait just a minute!
Madam Avasarala, I've received your message. I don't appreciate the regrettable moments of my past entering the conversation. And I urge you to remember that enemies can be made on both sides of the line. We have not engaged with the Ramses too, and I've just received word that they are beginning to course correct. I am not at all convinced that we've done the right thing. And I will be saying as much in my incident report. We have avoided an outright conflict today, but the MCRN saw us flinch. I can only hope it won't lead to further provocation. Cusco out. Admiral Cusco, thank you for sharing the good news. I know you didn't agree with my orders, and your loyalty in the face of adversity will be remembered. The MCRN won't be so bold as to escalate after we saw through their ruse. This was a victory, Admiral. Try to enjoy it. We get them so rarely. You make this job look harder than it is. Maybe Arjun would want to take a vacation this summer. Yes, Nisa. You know, I feel strangely sentimental about you in this room. I worry that you in the flesh again may be something of a letdown. Madam, it's news from Callisto, and it's not good. Show me. Although all reports have yet to be verified, it has been confirmed that a significant, violent uprising has occurred on the shared MCR UN moon station of Callisto. In what the UN is calling the Callisto Insurrection, Martian-backed laborers in the shipyards of Callisto turned on UN peacekeepers in what is believed to have been a coordinated attack. My god. While tensions have been mounting in the region for some days, the exact purpose of the attacks and any possible coordination with Mars remain unknown. The Martian Congressional Republic has yet to issue a statement. And just in, we have learned that UN Marines are being deployed and are being met with fierce resistance at the station. We are also told that some military officials now believe that a portion of the uprisers may be OPA operatives posing as shipyard workers. It's a message from your son. Listen, I haven't heard back from you yet can't talk long, but I didn't want to go into a mission the way we left things. Madam Undersecretary. I want to thank you for believing in me. I know we don't always agree, but I'm still grateful for your support and even your advice. Sometimes. Christian, they released the official list of casualties. I didn't want to enlist, but maybe you were right to twist my arm. I've learned a lot out here. I even met someone really special. So, thank you. I love you, Mom. I'll call you again soon. Ah!